If you are a lover of affirmations or you've just heard about how powerful they can be, then you are going to love the Daily Affirmations for Women podcast, created by the Women's Meditation Network and hosted by the amazing Jodi Agard. Every morning, you'll receive an episode that is dedicated to one specific affirmation so you can have the space to reflect on it and receive the power within it. Follow and start listening now to the Daily Affirmations for Women podcast on your favorite podcast player. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2287. Stop Delaying the Inevitable by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, your host. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is the podcast where I act as your very own personal narrator and read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. And with that, let's keep this intro nice and short and get right to it as we optimize your life. Stop Delaying the Inevitable by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com Did you hear that, Mr. Anderson? That is the sound of inevitability. Agent Smith, The Matrix. Whether it's The Matrix, Terminator, or just about any graphic novel, inevitability is a pretty awesome plot device. But it's also a whole lot more than that. Without you realizing it, inevitability can govern our lives and become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Fortunately, we get to choose the ending of this prophecy. Person A. Blah, I'm just gonna end up fat and sad and have blood pressure problems like my dad. It runs in my family and I'm going to become him. No wonder I keep failing. Person B, I'm going to break this cycle. My kids are going to be the first in my family who grow up with a healthy dad and healthy habits. It's gonna happen. Person A, I'll just fail at losing weight like I did the last dozen times. I'm stuck at this weight and I'm not going to win against my genetics. Why bother? What's the number for voodoo donuts again? Person B, I'm going to get healthy. This is a long journey and I'm gonna hit some rough patches but my success is mine for the taking. I know that as long as I put one foot in front of the other, I'm going to get to where I want to go. If you associate more with person A, today we're going to take the first steps towards making you into person B. After all, it's inevitable, so you might as well just go along with me. The power of inevitability. I remember seven years ago, I had just stumbled across Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Workweek. I read it in a few days, And for some reason in my head, I told myself, hey, if he can do it, I can too. I have no idea how, but I'm gonna create my own business helping people get healthy. And along the way, I'm gonna have epic adventures, maybe even become a real life James Bond. I then bought the domain name nerdfitness.com and with more than a few speed bumps and leaps of faith along the way, here we are seven years later. When I started Nerd Fitness, I knew I could make it work. But why didn't I know this when it came to getting big and strong? I thought the inevitable was that I would never get big and strong, that my genetics wouldn't allow it. Like I was swimming against the current and there was nothing I could do but fight an uphill battle. Not surprisingly, my results never seemed to stick. When I found out I had a spine that didn't line up, it was a relief. I can blame my lack of progress on genetics. Personal responsibility is no longer needed. Then. I spent the past seven months proving myself wrong, becoming anti-fragile, and my mentality has completely shifted. If I keep doing what I'm doing, I'll reach my goals. I've had more success than ever over these six months, and it kills me to think where I would be if I only started with this mindset of positive inevitability, knowing you are going to do it. What kind of relationship do you have with yourself? Quote, when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. Paulo Coelho, The Alchemist. Yes, I realized you're probably saying, okay, Steve, you're starting to sound like one of those quacks who want me to make a vision board, read the secret, and just sit around and wait for people to help me. Okay, skip the vision board and the book, but ask yourself this. Are you the type of person who consistently looks for things to go wrong or waits for things to go wrong and then says, see, I told you so, Or are you the type of person who assumes things work out for the best and that good things are on the way and then takes action to make the best things more likely? Whichever one you believe to be true is true. 
We all know that pessimistic person who seems to have all of the bad luck, and conversely, we all seem to know the person that has the golden touch and can't seem to lose. You get to decide which inevitability you are working towards. We see setbacks as speed bumps, not roadblocks. We know what we want, and we know we need to work hard to get it, so we do. While everybody else is waiting for luck to find them, we're out making our own. As Winston Churchill famously said, quote, success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm, end quote. Each failure is one less speed bump that can block us from that inevitable success. Like scientists proving a hypothesis wrong, each failure is a chance to get closer, not a reason to give up. We expect to win. We expect to succeed. And then we bust our asses to prove that eventuality correct. We have a personal responsibility to our inevitability. Prove it to yourself. I realize simply expecting to win or feeling more positive about yourself is only half of the equation. Whether you sit around waiting for good luck to strike or waiting around for bad luck to kick in, you'll get the same result, nothing. As we learned from Andy in the Shawshank Redemption, quote, hope is nothing without action, end quote. In the amazing book, Unbroken, Louis Samperini endured the most incredible set of setbacks and never once gave up hope. He consistently did what he could to prove to himself that he was fighting and enduring for a reason. The best way to prove to yourself that your positive inevitability, the leveled up version of you, is waiting around the corner is to achieve small wins. Want to be healthy? Prove to yourself you can change with 30 straight days of walking for just five minutes. Want to build a business? Make one dollar or help one person. After that, it's simply a matter of hustle and scale. Want to run a marathon? Run for one minute. After that, it's simply finding a way to run a bit further than the day before. Identify that future version of you, that level 50, and then take one step in that direction. Make a change, no matter how small. With each additional change and each additional small victory, that eventual future becomes more and more concrete. And before you know it, eventually becomes a reality. Expect the inevitable. I bet we have a lot of rebels who fall on the dark side of inevitability. And I wanna help you get over to the light. After all, we're rebels. Regardless of whether you're trying to lose weight, run a marathon, or put on some muscle, stop waiting for stuff to go wrong and start expecting things to go right. Here's the truth. You're listening to this, which means you're a pretty smart person. You're surrounded by awesome people who are here to help you get healthy. You know what you need to do, and every day, you're taking a tiny step closer. You deserve this. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be healthy. Every day is a chance to get closer to that eventual success, or a chance to delay it. You just listened to the post titled, Stop Delaying the Inevitable, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Good news, business owners. Hiring game-changing employees just got way easier, thanks to Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses do it all. Attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. With Indeed's instant match feature, over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love that if you invite these or any candidates of your choosing to apply, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash health. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health, and support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. One of the OLD Network's core values is helping you to keep your mind sharp. Well, I've been leveling up my focus with Word Collect, which is a free word puzzle app with over 2,000 levels. Word Collect gets harder as you get better so it's a fun and challenging way to keep your brain sharp and grow your vocabulary. 
I highly recommend you give this fun and addicting brain game a try. And right now, Word Collect is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play. And those coins help. You'll need them when you're having a hard time reaching the next level. I've been there a few times and I'm thankful they made it easier for me to keep going because I don't want to stop playing. So stop mindlessly scrolling through social media and keep your mind sharp. Just go to the Apple or Google store and search for Word Collect. So if you're like me and want to get fit with your mind and body, download Word Collect for free today. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. All right, so this is really spooky. In his post, Steve mentioned Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Workweek. I just started listening to that book on Audible earlier this week. It's been on my wish list for months and I finally made the decision to buy it. And that was before I read Steve's post. I just happened to listen to the first chapter earlier this week. So when Steve mentioned the book, I nearly jumped out of my chair. But having the same taste in books and movies for that matter isn't why I love reading Steve's posts. It's just that so often his approach reflects my own. For example, I've had clients tell me that they can't and will never be able to do a pull-up. Hey, I was in that same boat. I couldn't do a pull-up for the longest time. Clients will also tell me they'll never be consistent with their workouts or they'll never be consistent with their healthy eating plan or never be consistent managing their stress. Here's what I tell them. Just take that first step. Just as Steve said, no matter how small, take that first step. If you can't perform a pull-up, that's okay. Just hang on to the pull-up bar for 10 seconds with no assistance. If that's too difficult, use a chair to support some of your weight and then hang on the pull-up bar. That's a step in the right direction. Struggling with eating balanced meals? Just plan one meal this week. Trouble with managing stress? Next time you feel stressed, take one deep breath. Then we build on those little wins because those little wins will start to add up. And before you know it, when added up, all those little wins may have just become a habit. All right, that does it for me for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.